Hi everybody and welcome back to Minimax, your uh, channel on the tube that tries to bring to you the idea of m m maximizing your uh, abilities while uh, minimizing on your effort. So uh, uh, earlier on, on uh, one of the videos, we were talking about uh, showing uh, cutting of a, of a rope, of a cord, paracord or something like that. Uh, I try to look up <laughs> the right uh, exact uh, uh, word to say in English. So, I mean, I think it's called paracord or something like that. It's a big paracord. It's a very strong paracord. It used to be strong. It's a very small piece of it. So, uh, I'm going to try to show you, as I said before, how to uh, utilize a very, very small, again, thinking very small, very uh, focused on something, trying to use a very small item. Uh, with some wood but very very small wood okay pieces of wood very small pieces of wood that you can take you don't need any survival gear any big survival like a uh, um, knife or something like that you don't need this to cut from a wood pieces so small so sometimes all you will need is like a very small very very small um, a, a cut off uh, blade uh, it's like a utility knife and then simply working with it very very uh, um, patiently taking small pieces uh, out of the wood and this knife can uh, actually very very easily do this uh, do this task and then you have wood you have something that will take on the fire and uh, I will show you now uh, two more ideas of uh, utilizing um, all kind of stuff that you you will find around you when you will try to make uh, make fire okay so we'll put that aside and we'll we'll look off about uh, look look on something we all of you will probably recognize this is a, a Pringles an old Pringles uh, uh, box that I cut with the utility knife, okay, or with another knife, it's, it doesn't matter. You cut like a, a small um, container that will contain the, the small fire that you go, you're about to do, you're about to to make. So uh, when you're out there and you're looking for a small container, it can be a Pringle container, it can be any container that you find out there to contain the fire, okay? I will even try and use the original um, uh, seal of the box to show you that it's a small container, okay? And then you put inside the container the wood, the small pieces of wood, okay? Again, I will uh, try, uh, I will again ask you to be very, very careful uh, when you uh, apply fire uh, don't do this uh, without uh, preparing before and uh, being uh, able to put up put out the fire if you need to uh, again you can take some of this uh, uh, very fluffy part of cord and put inside I will I will cut it now so you'll be able to see I'm taking the fluffy part of the cord and put it in inside this chamber again what you see here is more than you need to make fire okay so <laughs> I'll even take only small amount of uh, of the fluffy part because we don't need that much um, fire going to start a fire we only want to start the fire okay so the third part is a very important part. You can take this with you when you go hiking. You can take this with you when you go uh, on trips. It's a very small box. You can make it even smaller. You put inside a material, which I will explain in a in a, in another video that I'll make about uh, uh, making fire. But now I w I wanted to, to show you the usage, the the application of the fluffy part that we took on another video and uh, I will 
put this ingredient this is a very simple ingredient that you can find on stores you can put it very easily into containers little containers because you don't need a, a lot of it to make fire okay so I'll pu I will put that aside and I will show you I will need only this amount sorry only this amount of material to work with to have fire going even if I make I'll make this even smaller okay so this will be the amount I don't know if you can see this will be the amount I will put inside and this I will put aside okay and now just to, just to let you see I will take a simple uh, match simple match I will add the match we will talk about making fire without matches in another video but now we will use a match Okay, so I'll take a match. Sorry. I will take a match and light the match. And then light the material. You see? See how fast fire is going? I hope you can see that. It's a very fast going fire. Very. Uh, now you can try and add more stuff into it. Maybe more, uh, more of the the wood if you want fire going to the wood that's it you got fire going you can go on and uh, use the same uh, idea that we talked about before making big fire from small fire that's it okay I'm gonna put it out now you can easily put it out either by choking it like that okay here it is it's gone we choke the fire so the fire is gone you can still see that the fire is uh, um, still going if you blow on it so you will get the fire going again it's a very simple process all you need is a <laughs> as you saw all you need is a very small amount of material to make fire okay it's actually very very simple S think small succeed big okay so this is this is our video for now and uh, we wish you all a very good uh, um, day and uh, come back soon if you want to see more bye for now